Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us at 6 o'clock. I'm Susan Shaw. And I'm Brian Sterling. We do have a lot to get to tonight. First, a Florida man with ties to West Michigan is awaiting extradition to Grand Rapids after five women accused him of sexually assaulting them between 2006 and 2008. At least two of the victims were students at the former gymnastics center where 49-year-old Sharon Guy worked at the time. News 8's Joe LaFergie has these details. The business has been under new ownership since 2021, but deputies credit those owners with help breaking the case open. The first voicemails were left at the former home of Ariel and Baranis Gymnastics Building on Coit in March. There were some very disturbing calls that came in. One time student claimed she was sexually assaulted by a former instructor at the school some 15 years ago. The caller didn't realize Ariel and Baranis had closed more than two years ago, replaced by Newton Ariel Academy. It was very hard to listen to those phone calls and so we um, we turned it over to the to the sheriff department 49 year old Shannon guy dressed in a bathrobe was led from his home in Punta Gorda Florida Wednesday he's charged in Michigan with over a dozen counts of criminal sexual conduct guy was a coach at the former gymnastics school between 2006 and 2008 when investigators say the alleged assaults occurred the victims were between the ages of 4 and 14 at the time Guy has no ties to Newton Ariel Academy, but the decision by Williamson to contact police led to his arrest. We're glad about that, really glad, but uh, I, I, feel, I feel bad that something like that even happens. Like, it's so sad. We have to credit the new business, too. They stepped forward. According to Kent County Sheriff's deputies, Guy coached for two of the alleged victims. His relationship with the girls he coached allowed him contact with three other victims. Detectives say the assaults occurred at three different locations in Kent County. It takes quite a bit of guts to come forward and say this has happened to me and maybe be exposed to some scrutiny and certainly reliving some occurrences that may have happened to them. Guy left West Michigan in 2010, traveling to several states before moving to Florida. Police are concerned there may be other victims. We want to make sure that the case is publicized enough so that individuals who may have also been victimized know to come forward. The sheriff says Guy's arrest should serve as a reminder to parents. Proactively talk to their kid about if anything, you absolutely can come to me and making sure they focus on body safety. No word yet on when Guy will be returned to Michigan. In Grand Rapids, Joe LaFergie, News 8. If you know anything about this investigation or you need to talk to a detective about the case, you can call the Kent County Sheriff's Office Detective Bureau at 616-632-6125.